seem to find a podcast that laughs. I'm tense and nervous, can't relax, can't sleep, getting tired. Listen here, these guys are on fire. Ramble cast, kiss to say, fa 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 Ramble cast. Oh, ramble, <laughs> ramble away. Whoa. Ramble cat, kiss kiss it. Fa 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 fa. Ramble, ramble. Nice. I think that has to be the best, the best one, one yet. yet. It really is my my favorite. That was fantastic. Wow. Oh, okay. You, like, you can't just, go wrong with talking heads for me. No. So. You know, I, I can't believe you're going to keep doing this for the rest of this pod until this podcast ends <laughs> every week. Mm-hmm. Really I, I think it's incredible that every week that you come up, that you're going to you committed to doing it every week. Cause you said, you know what? That the listeners like it. Yeah. My fellow hey, podcasters get, like it, so I got to do it every week. I'm just going to yeah. keep doing it. Yeah, I get I get so much fan mail from them every week. Yeah. <laughs> we speaking of fan mail, we, we did, did get, get an email. email. That's right. Oh, we got and, an email, huh? And and a suggestion for our verses, which I thought actually might you know since we were kind of toying around with the idea of Nick's greatest intro. Mm-hmm. Um, but this but this email is is a little bit more topical. It's on, it's on date. It's on now. Yeah. Yeah, let me uh, get to that. It doesn't. It doesn't say about getting rid of me. Uh, no, it does. It does say that. Um, okay, from, then, then I was gonna say that's topical. <laughs> it's suspect anyway because of of the name. So you guys might not believe that who it's from. It says hello, RCAD. Hope you guys are doing good. Uh, best Super Bowl food versus. Count me in for pizza. Are you guys still doing the Jay and Jack show podcast? Signed without any, uh, you know, other information other than Matthew K- Catter. Sorry, I didn't mean to butcher your last name. <laughs> Matthew Jay Catter. Jack, it's so the Jay Matthew. Jack Show podcast? Yes. Uh, Jay, still, Jay still has an episode he's never released, the Ryan and Jen episode. Oh, wow. wow. Almost it, probably a year ago. I probably forgot he's, about he's it. He's been holding on that. And, and I, I've been asked by Ryan and Jen. I keep sending Jay the message. I said, hey, can you just release it? I don't know. I, I, you know, hey, I don't know. We're only produced by Jay and Jack. We don't have them both on the show. That's what makes our show so unique. Exactly. And I, I, I'm just, uh, I'm just by name only. So I don't know. I don't know. I hope that answered the question. (laughs) I don't know. But what is, so, so should we do a versus favorite, favorite Super Bowl? Food? food. I mean, we don't have to have to have to a lot. I have a prep time for this. You know, we can just jump into this as far as yeah, I mean, I know what I want. We, I mean, obviously, we still would have to roll the dice. Yeah. 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 So, you want to do that at the end? You want to do it now? Makes me no difference. Pitter patter. <laughs> pitter patter. What is pitter patter? Your let's do it. Makes... So letter letter Kenny. So. Oh, okay. I remember the show that uh, Chris went on maybe three episodes ago that he really, really liked and that we should watch it. And every time someone has said, to be fair, Chris has always responded with, to be fair. (laughs) So that is from the show, as well as Pitter Patter and many other slogans, or whatever you want to say. And uh, so Pitter Patter is in just about every episode where someone will kind of want to beat around the bush about something and someone will just go, Pitter Patter! Or just pitter patter. Like, let's get at her. Let's do it. Let's get to it. So that's what I mean. <laughs> so are you liking the show? Do you think it's worth what Chris has said? Because I so watched the first episode and I struggled with it. Exactly. The, it's eight eight seasons. I'm in the end of the second season right now. The first episode, if you're not watching that first episode going, what the fuck am I watching? Then, uh, But then after that, and you realize that these guys are just a town full of idiots. And it's, But it is comedic <laughs> gold. And it's... It's written very well because there's a in this episode two. That's what finally got me 
the three guys are sitting on the porch and they're talking about what would happen and what would they not want to see if they ripped their testicles. The that best episode, episode conversation. <laughs> that is that is that conversation because it's so well written that you're just like, who, who the fuck writes this shit? And how did they not just die laughing? In every single take of this, so dialogue. so so they they're talking about what would happen if you ripped your testicles. They're like, because like one of them's like, well, if I rip my testicles, I wouldn't want to see the blah 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 sack, you know. Well, if I rip my testicles, I wouldn't want to see the blah 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 fluid, like. And they're getting like so uh, medically <laughs> detailed, but, with like, like oh my god, you know. Like, well, to be to, to be fair, to be have fair, we all, have, have, have we all thought about that? How much that would hurt at one point? Where oh, I right. hope I never ripped my testicles, like right. I can remember riding a bike with no seat on it and still had the you know the thing that held the seat. Mm-hmm. Like going, man, I hope I don't fall. So I ripped my testicles. This is years ago when I was a kid. It's like the seat fell off and I was just screw it. I don't have time to put it back on. That's why you had all girls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, but uh yeah, I mean, yeah. That, that, I, that, that was that was Nick's that was Nick's joke, by the way. Nick. <laughs> Nick. Pitter patter. Bitter patter. Nick. Let's get at her. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm I think I'm one episode shy of the end of the second season, and uh, and yeah, I'm I'm gonna knock it out pretty pretty quick uh, and finish it Pitter off. Patter. Pitter patter. I started watching Seinfeld again. <laughs> it's just sound like a confessional. I started <laughs> watching Seinfeld again. Uh, you know? well, I've, I've, I've seen Seinfeld. each episode like a hundred, but it's when I was watching one today. And I go, God, I don't remember. It was second season. I go, I don't remember a lot of this episode. Hmm. So when we're a uh, little uh, Elaine Hulse hosts a baby shower at Jerry's apartment because Jerry's supposed to be out of town, and George had a break up, break up with the girl, and the, it, all the thing happened. I'm like, and he's getting cable hooked up, up by the Russians. And I'm like, going, hmm. I remember, I remember the episode, but I didn't remember a lot about it. So. I mean that there was that was thirty years ago. So, yeah, but I've seen it. I've had multiple rewatches since then. I just don't remember. Maybe I I didn't watch for because I, I, I think when I just watched the episode, I think that really launched Seinfeld. The uh, Chinese restaurant episode is one that I think really where Seinfeld clicked hmm. for everybody. I, I don't think I've ever watched Seinfeld in chronological order because I've always watched just reruns when they're on. You know, like just say, oh, the Seinfeld's on. I'll watch it, but I've seen probably all the episodes because I didn't start watching Seinfeld until like the last two seasons because I was, you know, I was a kid. Yeah, I can a tell kid. You yeah, I mean, the nineties when it came out, right? Or eighty nine? Came out in the eighties, I think. I think it came out in eighty nine. Eighty nine. Yeah, and so I was eight, and I didn't. I mean, I didn't start watching Seinfeld until probably ninety five or six. So. It almost, it almost didn't make it. Yeah, they used, yeah. they used to move it around and several, and, uh, several times. Yeah, yeah, because I was a huge sign. I was a huge fan of his stand up. He'd be on Carson yep. and all that different stuff. Anyway, let's give this show a chance. Uh, the show I've been watching again, also a NBC comedy classic. Thank you, Chris, for turning me on to the uh, iTunes disc. I don't know what it was. It was like a one day deal. One day. Oh. Yeah. Cause I, cause I, I, you know what? You mentioned this and I had people come up to me and ask me afterwards and say, how come I can't get it? So it's 70 bucks, but go ahead. What did you get? Uh, the office, the entire yes. US, uh, version of the office for $30. And, uh, 30 you know, bucks. I know it's, a, I know it's on Netflix, but it's going away soon. You don't know if, when it's going to go to the NBC, uh, you know, streaming services and the Peacock's going to have it all. Mm. Um, but I own it now, so I don't have to worry about, so I just jumped in since you buy something, you're kind of like, all right, let's start watching the office again. So, and, uh, that, awesome. that show really hooks you in the second season. It's, yeah. it's funny how much parks and rec, I mean, I know they, they, they started out of the office basically, right. but, uh, I mean the first season of parks and rec, it's the Terrible. slowest, weakest season, mm-hmm. same way with the office. It's like the first season is just like. Oh my gosh! Like Michael, mm. like I hate you. You're the oh. worst. But you, well, get to, I, I, you get to season two, and I think it's the episode where he has to fire someone that you kind of yeah. like. Okay, like Michael. Well, he turned, he, yeah, he loses weight. He loses weight, and he gets hair plugs. Yeah. Yep. 
Yep. So you, you like them a little more. I thought season one was funny. No, no but- they just how it's filmed, how it's shot, all of the awkward no, scenes. I, I, and I, 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 it's because he lost weight and he has hair plugs and people like him better. It's an image thing. He's the same jerk in season in season he, two that he was in one. Except he's okay, yeah, in shape and he, and he has hair plugs. I mean, but there's an actual episode in which you you begin to kind of see it through his lens, and it's yeah. the Halloween episode because he has to fire someone. And at the very end, he's giving out candies to kids, and it's really sweet. Other than that, up to that point, like you're kind of like Michael Scott's a jerk. The only reason I'm watching this is because Jim and Dwight like have their like kind of shtick, you know, and. Uh, all of the characters haven't been like developed yet. Anyway, this is my my take on it. I no, know Jack, you put your... I 100% agree with you, man. Like, um, I had watched the BBC version. I, I'm just being honest, and I hated season one because it was such a straight copy of the BBC version. I was like, what's the point in watching it again? And so I quit watching it. And then I think around season three or four, somebody said, "Did you watch The Office?" And I was like, "No." I was like, "Because it's just a copy of." the British version, you know, and they said, no, 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 like, you're right. Like the first season is that way. It's like, but then it just, it's great. And so then I started watching it and it is, it's, it's so good after, because I think they, it, they, they found their own version of the character after season yeah. one. They, they had the freedom to kind of just do what they wanted to after that. Well, cause season mm-hmm. two, Ricky Gervais gets hair plugs and loses weight. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you and you're like, I mean, this is a mass conspiracy theory on your part. It's, it's not. It, look at you, you. Look at side by side. Michael Scott season one. Michael Scott season two. It's like a different guy. It's like, yeah. I, it's, in fact, I thought they brought it in a different yeah. actor. And you go, oh, this guy's a lot more likable now in season two than he was in season one. Now, season one has the basketball ep- where they play basketball. It, it's probably one of my favorite episodes. The basketball se- episode is pretty good, I will say, but that's that's like the fourth episode or fifth episode of, of season one. So you, I'm well, I like I liked that. it. I liked it from the start, but it was it okay. was uncomfortable. It was it was uncomfortable to watch. Okay, well, it's, I'm, you can't I'm, Michael I'm, can't, still... can't Michael put on a hat. Jeez. Season season one of Parks is just as weak, and it's about the fifth episode that as yeah, actually yeah. one of their stronger episodes. Well. Parks and Rec is terrible. Right, season. Fuck you! You don't know what you're talking about. I, I, I most people would, would agree with me. So I can mute Jack on this point and just like totally steamroll over his bullshit. This is like I don't know how he got a second season. West Coast <laughs> agenda. Um, we can do a versus on that. We can do a versus on that. Season one of Parks and Rec. Good television or complete shit. No, you just put your poll on your own crazy Hank thing and, and get the <laughs> crazy stats that you want to on this. I'm going to go to my people. Okay. <laughs> Look, it, it wasn't really filmed in Indiana. You don't you don't have to defend it because it, it's okay. Was filmed but in there Indiana. were a couple episodes that were actually filmed in Indianapolis. So but they, when they went that, to the plastic bag factory. That was a good one. <laughs> uh. <laughs> The don't the don't recycle center was great. The one in Indiana. Well, you want to know what uh, the inside of a testicle shredded looks like? Um, ah! Oh man! <laughs> it's all my life for that. That that looks like a baseball okay. though. Yeah, it was. It was a okay. <laughs> I used to love to take apart a part of baseball. It was great. I just wanted to horrify that. <laughs> Can you imagine like the people listening to this? They're like, oh my gosh, Matt actually shared like an inside of a testicle. Shredder. My testicle's name is Spalding? Oh my God. <laughs> Mine says made in China. <laughs> <laughs> oh, doctor. <laughs> Moon River. <laughs> so, so versus? Sure. Yeah. Um, here, I'll get a, a, a dice roller up here. Sure. So, um, so favorite Super Bowl foods that we're doing? Yeah. Like, I yeah. think the question is, yeah, like, yeah, what's your favorite thing to eat at, at a Super Bowl party? Is what I, I figured. And he said, pizza. Crow. Hey, yeah. Crow. Crow. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, here we go. Let's see. Sharing this window right with you now. And this will be. Uh, the dice roll. So, who wants Just to going. go first here? Oops. Can Just go in it? order of how you have it here. Which is because I can't Matt, see it. When I go to Matt, Nick, Jack, and Chris. 
Okay. I will roll for it first. This is a classic 19-sided die, um, as you see here. So it can go up to 19. Classic. <laughs> oh, <laughs> three. <laughs> three for Mac. Okay. All right. Um, big number, big number, big batter. number. Three. Uh, it's three. rigged. It's three. rigged. This oh, it's, 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 a park and, it's a park and rec die. Four. <laughs> <laughs> so for everyone out there, it's three, three, and four. I think this is actually an eight-sided die, by the way. So five <laughs> and five. You this sure you go to nineteen? I, I feel like the shittiest should... dice roller I've Wait. ever seen in my life. All right, we, we, we should do just, just for just, no, we shouldn't. But just for shits and giggles, <laughs> Chris doesn't want to do it again. No, just just for shits and giggles. What's the next roll? Yeah. <laughs> See, it's bullshit. Three, four, five. I bet you next okay. one's going to be seven. Next one's going to be seven. All right, here. Yeah. I, All right, I'm I'm seven. Seven. Hey. All right. Okay. Oh, we should totally re-roll. Well, I just won. What, what do you mean we should re-roll? And I finished in second. Okay, well, still, Nick and I have to... You and Nick can re-roll. That's fine. Okay. All right, I, this I, is my roll. I, I think it was rigged. You uh, got Nick rolled there. I have 16. I think it's good. Oh, that's 16? No, no, I had... Uh, no, that's 7. Six okay, I thought it was 7. Okay. Yeah. yeah, all right, sorry, I'm drunk. This is... All right, shit. 13. 13, all right. This whole, this whole thing is like a travesty. Who's running this thing? The Senate? <laughs> all right, so I'll, I'll go first. The Galactic Senate? Yes. The best, the best Super Bowl snack to eat, or not even snack, but like you, you can treat this as a main course or a snack. It could be your appetizer. It could be the only thing you eat during the Super Bowl, and that is the food from which the town it originates from will probably never see a Super Bowl. It is the buffalo wing. Oh, okay. Hmm, okay. The that, buffalo that wing. My- that was gonna be my pick. Is hmm. you you I mean there there is a restaurant that's dedicated for you to go sit down, eat wings, and watch football amongst many other sports. Uh, oh, they, that's they, Buffalo, they, Buffalo Wild Wings. They have food. There? Are, they, are these are these cage free wings? Are they? Uh... Uh, you know what? As long as it's uh, you know, uh, where do they v- get the buffalo? BPA free cages? I'm fine <laughs> with it because these these chicken wings are. You know, I, I love buffalo wings. I'm a huge fan of like hot sauces and okay. How much time do I get then? You're holding the timer. It's, it's, it's ascending. So tell me, what do, I, what do I have to go to? Uh, well, what do you guys say? A minute. All right, give, give me a 10 second warning. Okay. So, so you have, you have, you have, you have Buffalo wings. You can choose to have all drummies, all wings. You want to mix it up. That's fine. But the possibilities are endless when it comes to dry rubs, to different types of sauces. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We're not, not talking about we're not talking about Robert Kraft again. Whether, we, whether or not you want to have <laughs> super spicy, if you want to have flavorful with like a with like a like a barbecue sauce or a teriyaki sauce, there's so many choices out there. Buffalo wings are the best Eight, snack to watch football seven, with, especially six, five, the Super Bowl. Four, Buffalo three, wings. Two, one. All right. There you go. Uh, well, um, <clears throat> next up is Jack. Jack. With his I got, you you got to go with chip, uh, d- 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 Dorito chips, not Dorito chips, uh, like tortilla chips and the seven layer dip. Oh, tortilla. Okay. Your sour cream, your guacamole, your your everything. It's in the cheese and everything. You take that chip and you dip it in there with your ice cold beer. Rooting for the Super Bowl. It, that fact, you don't even care who's winning at that point. You just. You're just you're you're stuffed because the wings came and the wings are kind of dry. So, <laughs> but the dip, homemade dip, seven layer oh, dip shit. is the best dip you can get. So I should be timing. Yeah. That. Sorry, that's that's all. I, 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 don't, I don't need to go on for tw- twenty minutes. The seven layer <laughs> dip is the best one in the world. Okay, okay. all right. You're, and you're you don't have to. Use, it can, you can you can use any chip you want. You can use your finger. That's how good the dip is. Okay, um, there, there we have it, Jack. Tortilla chip with seven layer dip, right? Is that right. seven layer? Is it dip? Okay, Nick. Sorry, sorry. So, I guess I need a clarification. 
Okay. Because beer doesn't count. I was yeah, you because know, that's my <laughs> my tree. There's bread in beer, and that's my food. No, I need a clarification because I was going to choose just chip and dip because there's a variety. Now, are we going with a chip and a dip? You, you can go French onion. Dip. That's what I'm saying. Like, or do, are we going to go with that kind of thing? Because then you're really splitting hairs. Uh, because if I say nachos, well, you get a lot of hairs in those buffalo wings. Yeah, it's true. I mean, buffaloes are pretty hairy. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to start timing you for how much time you have left to pick, Nick. Oh. <laughs> I'm just, I was asking you guys, like, do you think one chip and dip is just chip and dip? No, or? no I, th- I think you can use another because the seven-letter dip is obviously the best dip. So you can pick whatever dip you want. You can go crazy. You can go, like, salt and vinegar. with. At uh, this point, I'm going to restrict you to one dip per minute, and uh, we're almost there. <laughs> Good. Yeah. You have almost jeopardy oh, time. I pick pizza. Awesome! <laughs> <laughs> just toyed me along. <laughs> yes. <laughs> sure. oh, wait, can it be? Can it be a different pizza? Can I pick like uh, pizza with a like, Hawaiian pizza? Or right, you have like one pizza? minute, Mister Pizza. Go. No, no, that's all I gotta say. Is pizza? I'm good. Fuck you. <laughs> Here, I thought I was gonna like steal like first place here. No, what were you gonna pick again, Matt? Hmm? What, what were you gonna pick again? What? I have no idea. Oh, because I didn't fucking care anyway. But like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just... well, I don't have to pick since I'm the producer. This is really about you three now. You can uh, pick Doritos. It's a commercial. It's on like fifty no. times. Mm-hmm. And don't make more. Bud, <sighs> white, sir, and oh, Doritos. Stress. All right, I'm setting. Now we have we have chip and dip, chicken wings, and pizza. Jeez, oh, oh man, this is really. I didn't even do any. You keep saying chip, and it's the seven layer dip. I think mm. you, you can't just say chip and dip because the people that don't listen to the podcast go chip and dip. Do people not know what chip and dip is? It's just common knowledge. <laughs> but it's it's a seven layer dip. I mean, you're gonna have the people who I can't believe you guys didn't pick the seven layer dip because they haven't listened to the podcast, right? Okay. Oh, fuck, this is so hard. I'm then not... you'll have that one person goes, this might even make me want to listen to the podcast. Which who Why did you guys pick so shredded beef? Um, <laughs> <laughs> shredded beef. <laughs> like, with a spoon. <laughs> um, that's made out of... Hot dogs, candy. hamburgers. Oh, hot dogs and hamburgers. Yeah, those are good, too. I'd go with sliders. Yeah. Or but lobster. 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 <laughs> going for the out, out of the box now. Let me pull up with uh, my Lexus that, and my lobster. Yeah, that's a high class party there. Oh, there's, my, there's my damn timer. Damn it. Fuck. Okay. So time's up there for me. I'm I'm just I have no idea whatsoever. I'm I'm drawing a complete blank. So when in doubt, go with bacon. Because you just, can put just bacon, just bacon, yeah, just bacon, it's, yeah. just bacon. I figured, nice you're, I, I figured you're gonna go with like the celery and the carrot spread with the ranch, <laughs> with the ranch dipping. There you go, <laughs> celery <laughs> with raisins. There you go, nailed it. Um, uh, see, I can't go burgers. I mm. mean, cheeseburgers. That's not a. I mean, you go sliders. I'd go with slider burgers. What about ribs? I had thought about ribs, actually. Barbecued ribs. I mean, you got some guy barbecuing out there, and he's and it is Kansas okay. City playing this year. You know what? I'm I'm the last and the producer. I pick ribs. It is barbecue ribs, just like Owen and Bruce. So now are they the buffalo ban- ribs? Bantha ribs. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. Barbecue ribs. That's that's my there. Trip. There we go. All right. They are they are made. You know, they're like they're. Uh, cooked in Kansas City, though, so no favoritism there. But Kansas City, here we come. They have a special kind of baking barbecue style. What would San Francisco be? Quiche? Or that something? Uh, I have nothing else to say about that. Do we uh, go on to shit on everybody else's picks here? Oh, okay. Um, or no? So first one to be shitting on would be Jack shitting on everybody. Yeah, no, Chris, Chris went first. Chris went first, but oh, true, true. You have one minute to crap on everybody's choices. Chris, go. Oh. Well, I mean, we've got what? Would, what did you have, Jack? Yeah, you had seven layer dip. Yeah. Um, 
You know you're taking your buffalo wings and dipping them in there. Dip. So seven layer dip <laughs> is um, like you couldn't get it right the first time. You couldn't get it right the second time. It took you seven damn tries to try and get the seven layers done, right? I mean, seven layer dip is just a, a sloppy way of saying, hey, what's all the shit that we've got left in the produce section of our refrigerator? I'm just going to put it all on top of each other. You know what, you know what I'm going to do to fuse it all together? Because if, it, if it's not sticky enough from going stale in the fridge, I'm going to slap some sour cream in between each layer just to make it congeal. Uh, it's a piss poor representation of a, of a decent dip. You know, you, you go to a, a, to a good Mexican restaurant, you'll get a great dip that you only need one layer for. And uh, so, yeah. Screw your seven layer dip, Nick. Pizza, P- pizza. Really, <laughs> really. A- anybody who calls Domino's for their halftime show should be slapped right in the face. I'm sorry, pizza hey, is. is it, hey, Domino's. Show. Domino's also has chicken wings. They, no, they don't. <laughs> yes, they, do. <laughs> they, they do not have chicken really wings. Pizza in them. Um, they do not have chicken wings. Uh, <laughs> In, Matt, what the hell did you pick? He picked celery and carrots. I thought. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, oh, I think he, he picked ribs. That's right. Ribs. Yeah, I picked ribs. Yeah. Ribs. Ribs are awesome. I mean, <laughs> I can't say shit. <laughs> Fair. Thank okay, you. Whatever. I like your okay. pick. <laughs> All right. Nice. All right. I'm glad I got by on that one. All right. Um, next up, um, it's Jack. Jack. Oh, yeah, that other guy on the show. Yeah, I know wings are pop are popular, but it's probably the least taste t- tasty part of the chicken, the wing. I mean, if they didn't put all that crap on it, who would want it? You're you just like better it. off with the you're just better off with the sauce. Yeah, you like livers, don't you? Yeah, well, it's it's better than the wing. The wing is useless. I used to work for Turkey Fried Chicken. Nobody wanted the wings ever. Um, pizza, eh, it's a, it's that's a pretty generic choice. I mean, it's, it's not like you put a lot of thought into it. I guess hey, I'm gonna pick pizza, pizza, and then Matt, of course, with his 45 picks. I don't know what he ended up picking uh, ribs because I said ribs. That's a good one. I'll take ribs. How many Super Bowl parties you've been to that serve ribs? Ever? You're on. You're on mute. But I, I just never. Yeah, pizza wings. Yeah, they're okay. But the seven layer dip. Come on, people. It's it's the winner. I'm done. Okay. <laughs> the best part about that is that for the seven seconds leading up to Jack's response, he just went like this. <laughs> and for those at home, you can't see me. So he he has the game face on, like he's ready to like just to rip people in the he's, asshole. And like, like right now, look at look at look at him. He's look at him. Now. He's, he's so pissed. So Who he's, he's, like, losing Jack, your turn right. turns over. It's okay. No, the San Diego State's winning by like 18 right now. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's concentrating on his game. I'm sorry. I thought, I thought he was so mad at it. It's like, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, they're up by 16 with uh, two minutes left in the first half. No. I wish I had some dip. <laughs> <laughs> Seven layer. <laughs> Why didn't you guys pick shredded meat? <laughs> When you were talking about someone looking stressed out, I was like, oh, the little hot dogs. The appetizers. You mean, you, you mean pigs like in a cocktail blanket? Weenies? Pigs in blanket? Yeah, cocktail mm-hmm. weenies. It's no, I, I thought you were talking about Matt when you said looking so serious and angry, but uh, no, I'm no, just watching the, I'm watching the game. I'm watching the game. Mm-hmm. Nick's, uh, by the way, Nick's uh, time to shit on other people is up. So, no, yeah, yeah. it's not my fault. <laughs> All right, so everyone likes a good wing, but let's be real. They're really messy. Your fingers are going to get sticky and slimy. You got to have paper towels out. Same with ribs. They're just both not party. Environment killers. You know, yeah, yeah, the environment killers. You're going to have you have a, probably have a coronary later because of it. It's just <laughs> it's awful. You know, uh, dip, okay, I don't want to have a food where I have to have an etiquette because, you know, there's always going to be some asshole at the party that's going to, Dip, take a bite, and then dip again. Okay, and then you got to watch that person. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
And Jack could have won it with just saying Rotel or some other kind. But no, he had to be all fancy and say, I want the seven layer dip. No. Because that's a dip everyone yeah. gets excited to see. Uh huh, sure. Yeah, with all your Lexus friends. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> I'm saying, so you got etiquette. Pizza, you don't have to have etiquette. You just eat it, throw it in the box, and go. But the other three, you got messy ones, and then, you know, you got dips. You got shit everywhere. You got to clean up after. You don't have to clean up after pizza. You're good. All right, there you go. Um, by the way, uh, if anybody's playing at home, I actually did give um, Chris two minutes to talk, and the other guy's just one. <laughs> Chris doesn't follow the rules anyway. Nick, Nick, I mean, it, 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 <laughs> is, it, it, is it that is it that hard to just wash your hands? I mean, are you not yeah. going to wash your hands after you eat a pizza? No. Okay. <laughs> All right. I follow um, the rules always. You know, you're supposed to be talking right now. That's okay, so... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Got and you said I was the angry one? Oh, my God. Jeez. Can <laughs> confirm. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. All right. Is, uh, is, is, uh, is Matt going to make his rebuttal, or is he just said, fuck it, I, I, I picked ribs, I'm going to lose? <laughs> I am ready for my rebuttal, Mr. Costanza. Um, anyway, <laughs> my my rebuttal, or actually just shitting on the other two, is first you got buffalo. The other two, there's three. Um, those buffalo wings, they're bony, okay? And it's you have to work really hard for all of that meat, and there's hardly any meat on there. That's what she said. And then the, the <laughs> sure, the sauce is good, but wouldn't you rather have it on a better kind of meat like one that you when you gnaw onto it you know you you feel the power is this your dating profile like, <laughs> yeah. um, come gnaw on my meat baby by the, by the way uh, swipe right for my rib meat <laughs> swipe left for my rub sauce um <laughs> that means, so no no um okay so anyway uh buffalo wings also um, I'm a vegetarian, so fuck that shit. Like, buffalo wings are not on my plate. <laughs> so why did you rib? Ribs have no meat on. No, so I'm not even going to hear that stuff. Vegetarians just want to remove the entire rib. I just muted everybody now. So anyway, uh, seven layer dip. Nick's right. You don't know who's double dipping, and and you have second pick, Jack. Pick but, pizza. But you're, it's you're a clear a, you're a winner. Ve- but you're a vegetarian. Why would you pick the seven layer dip? Uh, well, I did actually have guacamole as I as I wrote down, <laughs> um, but um, no, I can't go up against the rest of uh, the pizza. Stuff. Pizza so generic. Anyone anyone can pick pizza. It pizza will to- definitely like. You know, you eat a piece of pizza, it's all that cheese, all that fat, all that dough and gluten. You want something that's gluten free and you want something that as you eat it, like you feel like the carnivores of the game that you're watching. And that's why you give up your vegetarianism and you eat ribs. So I brought it back around there. I thought I was a fool. I'm fooling you guys. Wait, are like, you calling all football players not. carnivores? Uh, no. Uh-uh. You know, they should they, 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 this is not the same game that was played in the 60s and 70s. No, these beef okay, ribs well, or pork ribs? Um, ooh, it's all. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. I put you ribs. To, have, no, 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 no. Because no. this guy just said pizza. I could have just been like, <laughs> whoa. Fuck <laughs> that shit. I'm picking that's a red or the white. Pepperoni he just pizza. Mushroom. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I mean, Jack was uber specific. You know, mm-hmm. he's like, you gotta get the Tostitos uh, tortilla chips. Then you gotta. I get didn't say tortilla. Tostitos. I did not. Okay. Yeah, don't. Right. Well, I, I, you kept I, I, talking about Doritos. You know. I kept saying thing. Doritos, but I meant tortilla. Any tortilla oh. chip. Right. Actually, the home. You get like you go to a Mexican restaurant and they ask, just get a big. You remember they bring you the bowl of chips. The restaurant oh, style, God. the best. Yeah, they are. They're so greasy. They're just covered in salt. Salt falls off of them when you pick yeah. them up. So, you know, it's if every bite's unhealthy for you, but you can't stop eating them. Right. Like, I mean, this is this will probably be a, a grossly unpopular pick, but when you're talking about like tortilla chips and salsa, um, chilies, like chilies, tortilla chips are so fucking good. They're like that thin, like wafer thin, really salty tortilla chip. Yeah, it's like Codoba, those two. Mm, yes, yes. Yeah. 
Uh, we got one oh, here. Well, we went. We went to a. Uh, <laughs> we went one year as a group. The uh, get together to uh, San Jose's Mexican restaurant. They they make some good chips and salsa. Salsa is excellent. Anyway, See, Jack, now I'm hungry. If you if you picked salsa, I mean, uh, just that one layer, you 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 have a better chance. I actually but think, sal- but ribs, salsa's in, but salsa's in there. It's, it's I actually part, think that layer. ribs is going to surpass the seven layer dip. I think it's going to be a. I think the winner is going to be between pizza and buffalo. I, That's my prediction. I, I don't know. I haven't been to have been to a Super Bowl party in a while, but I can't remember last time I went went to one. There were ribs. But you know what? Here, here, here's here's the differentiator here. Like, if you said I have a pizza, a Super Bowl uh, party that's happening, and I'm serving seven layer dip, and then the other dude says, "Hey, I'm having a Super Bowl party, and I'm serving ribs." I am going to the latter dude's house pronto. I, 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 I get that, but how many times have you been invited to a Super Bowl party where they served ribs? Five times. I have, I have no. been last year. I had. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Not more often. You're just not getting invited to the right Super Bowl parties. My, my buddy no. Tyler, who's, who may be listening um, so, to this so. show right now, but as a like, smoker, he smoked ribs last year. But it's the same thing. As, it's, just, it's the same thing as like if, if you guys live in an apartment complex and Jack goes, "Hey, I'm having several layer dips," and Chris goes, "Hey, I'm having lobster rolls." I'm going to have fucking lobster rolls, right? Mm. Wicked I'm going to go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go mm. with the person invited me first because that's just proper etiquette. Horse shit. Oh, I, <laughs> I guess you ended up with seven layer dip then. So, anyways. Okay. That's a good versus, though. That's a good yeah, one. Yeah. Great, e- great email. And your drawing's in the mail. <laughs> yeah. Your Maybe. drawing's in the mail. I'll, uh, the actually, drawing it should, is, it should be a drawing of jackfruit and ladyfingers. That's where I think it should be a drawing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's, that's some good. Or, e- <laughs> I just read, the, I just read uh, Matt's last joke. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I just read that one. <laughs> see, yeah, it's, see that. It's, it's, your, it's, the, it, it, it's your name. Now you get the joke. There you go. Yeah, yeah I get it. That is not my joke there. <laughs> Who's, who wrote it? Uh huh. Han shot first. Better patter. <laughs> better <laughs> patter. <laughs> you know, at this point, I think we should all take a little pitter patter mm-hmm. and uh, throw in one of those commercials that we love. Well, let's get at her. Yeah. Scan. <sighs> oh, I don't know. I just yeah, thirty-seven, forty-seven, fifty-five, twenty. These are all hike numbers. Arbitrary so numbers. Are you guys, who are you guys picking for the Super Bowl? Who are you guys? You know, I'm you guys Niners. Fucking Niners, man. Uh, Niners. So I just want to see Patrick Mahomes' stupid girlfriend cry. Like she is so annoying. I want her to be crying on the sidelines because her boyfriend did not win the Super Bowl. That's bitter. Yeah, I like I, I like Patrick Mahomes. I I, I gotta I like go him. With Kansas. His girlfriend. No. I gotta go with Kansas City. It's been how long has it been? I mean, fifty That's, years. Yeah, exactly. And that, those that fan base. I mean, you can sit there and say, you know, you go different fan bases in the NFL who, who are loyal. That fan base hasn't won a Super Bowl. They haven't been to one in fifty years. No. The last time they were there, they won. And they they always sell out that place. It's always a sea of red. Yep. So I'm gonna I got to go with the team where the fans have just stuck with that. I mean, again, people people can say our fan base is diehard, mm-hmm. but when what you don't when you don't win consistently, they have ribs. When you don't win consistently, and you and you still have a massive fan base, I got to go with Kansas City. I'm going with Kansas City. Well, so for the exact same reasons as Jack's going with Kansas City. Garoppolo. He's our old boy. I'm going to go with Jimmy Garoppolo. Matt. Uh, I, two. two two for two. Yeah, it's going to be it's gonna, I'm a two, and then you got one, so it's up to you. It's going to be a tie. Or... I, okay. I think Kansas City's going to win, mm-hmm. but I'm going to be rooting for San Francisco. Why? I, I, I just – I can because I can. Kayla got to you, didn't she? She did. Mm-hmm. This call is Kayla Niners fan. She's from San Francisco, right? She is. Well, yep, yep. She's from like the Bay Area. Yeah. Or yeah. she live in San Francisco? No, I think she lives to the south, like Cupertino area. You yeah, see the sweat? Little... You see the you see the sweatshirt I'm wearing right now? 
Is it the yeah. um, the Los Angeles Raiders? It's or the San, Chargers? Yeah, it's the San Diego Char- San Diego Chargers. That looks like the Los Angeles Chargers <laughs> to me. Yeah, I think. What do you guys think? It looks definitely this, the Los Angeles Chargers. Yeah. Fuck off. So this was what I would. This is yeah. what I was wearing when when the Chargers lost, and the stupid account we had at the rink came up to me and said, "Well, no, the the Forty ers had lost in the playoffs." And she comes up to me as I'm wearing this, and I was wearing a Charger hat, San Diego Charger hat. I'm so sorry your team lost yesterday. I go, my team. She goes, yeah, you guys lost yesterday. I go, I go, my team didn't play yesterday. She goes, the Niners. I go, oh yes, <laughs> she had the right state. Yes, yeah, because you know California is a small state, so. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, it's, she's an East Coaster. She doesn't know, really know what's out past that Mississippi River. Uh, nah, she's a Kentucky Wildcat fan, so there you go. Dumbass. Um, so you should just wow. be happy that she not only acknowledged another sport, you know. She's I mean, trying she, to make your game. She's, she's yeah. a basketball Well, player. to be honest with you, she's one of those people. I, I don't do this a lot. But, you know, help, help people will block you on Twitter or mm-hmm. unfriend you on Facebook. Mm-hmm. She was such a terrible person. I literally didn't talk to her unless I had to. Oh. She would come up and try. She would, she would go out of her way to make conversation with me. But she was such a bad person as oh. far as, as a person to work with. She was the accountant. And she was just... I don't want to get into the whole thing. Oh, I literally would. I, I, I would give her yes or no answers if I gave her anything. And, and Jack, so would go, Jack, this Jack. is this is this is so uncomfortable. Can you just talk to her? I go, no, because everything you say to her, she goes and repeats to other people, and she goes to the owner and all this. Different. I said, so fuck her. I'm not. Ta- I'm, I'm not giving her the fucking time of day. If for what those time home, is it? You could see the look on Jack's face where he was battling his inner demons to not drop a C bomb in that description. You actually paused. You paused, and I could. I, it was. It was right here. You're like. You're like. Cause she's a bad person. She, I, <laughs> she literally. She literally is just. She's a terrible person. She's a. Ter- I mean, just a terrible person. But very phone. Fo- very phony person. And people would come up. My wife would go. Can you just please talk to her? It's so uncomfortable. I go. Nope. Because <laughs> once you once you've got to that stage with me. I will do. I. It's like you're dead to me. You're, you're dead to me. I, I don't have a lot of people in the world like that. But if you if well, you if you do me if you do me wrong and do my family wrong, that's what I do. Regardless so. of your trauma, regardless <laughs> of your trauma, there, I'm still going to root for them, even though I I have a feeling that Kansas City is going to win. It's it's. I'm torn. I'm torn apart on the inside, just like Kylo Ren. <laughs> <laughs> You guys see uh, yeah. Adam Driver on this, you know? I saw the one. I just saw the one sketch. The, yeah. the, 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 the uh, boss one. Yeah, that's Undercover Boss. Undercover that. Boss. That, that was, was good. Fun. It was a good, was was good follow-up to the first one. Yeah. 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 Uh, just some pretty funny stuff. Yeah. So There's, there's some other. Who cares about color red? I do. I do. And then I even like. issues. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I like the whole pilot. The pilot was good. Yeah, that was that was really good. Yeah, uh, Chris, so, you should watch it, Chris. I should. I, I'll get around to it. Um, I was too busy this week with a, a a traumatic experience I had to go undergo this week. Oh, oh yeah, you didn't get your test. Uh, so I had to say goodbye to my Jeep. Oh, man, getting a little checked <laughs> up about it actually. So. Over the past, you know, six to eight months, I've started having some issues with the Jeep. Uh, it started off with some electrical issues, which I was living with, and this annoying chimes and all this bullshit. And then there was the clock spring, which which went, which kept telling me my airbag wasn't going to work, and that is like a loud ass chime every forty five seconds. So I was like, you know what? I can. I'll get to that. I'll fix it. I can get. So every forty five seconds, it was saying your airbag's not working. Woo! Hey, dumbass, can you hear me? So I was like, you know what? Ah, I'll get to it. I'll fix that. I can I can handle that. And then there's the underlying that I could tell that there are some issues with my steering components where I think I needed a new track bar track arm to um, provide proper steering for the Jeep because it would slip every once in a while. But I was like, you know what? I can get to that. I'll take care of that. That's not a problem. It's not a big deal. I can drive this thing with a loud, annoying 
binging every 15 seconds or 35 seconds, whatever it is. I can fix the steering. That's not a big deal. That's like a wear and tear type of thing. And then I found that I had a transmission leak. And I was like, fuck this. <laughs> I am not fixing the, the goddamn how, transmission. How many miles? 90. 90. Wow. 90,000 miles on it. Yeah. Usually, usually Jeep goes to 100,000 before the transmission goes. Well, so yeah, so my 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 prior Jeep, my two door Jeep that I had before I um, traded that in for because I had a uh, second child, that thing was a goddamn tank. Like there was nothing you could do to break that Jeep um, because it was an older Jeep, right? So that was an 05, I think it was, and that was before the the production line changed. So the engine in that old Jeep was the old straight six. It was a battle tank of an engine. Um, it had uh, Mercedes Benz, you know, tra- uh, manual transmission. That thing was uh, uh, as tight as you could get, as far as like the the manufacturing craftsmanship of, of of a vehicle. It was awesome. It had no bells and whistles. It was just a rough and tumble, you know, straight six four wheel drive. Jeep. It was a manly Jeep. It was. It was or a womanly Jeep. You know, women drive those too. Jack, you don't be a jerk. Um, so, but I, I loved, I love that Jeep so much, but I had to get a bigger one because of, you know, how my, my family's growing. So I went and bought like a, an 09. Oh, I, I bought an 09 last a, a year and a half ago, um, four door, uh, just to give myself a little extra room. I know it was not practical to go to a four door Jeep for the reasons <laughs> of a growing family. It made no sense whatsoever. But when you buy a Jeep, you're not buying a Jeep to be practical. You're buying a Jeep because you want to drive a Jeep. That's I got to be honest. I thought at the time that was pretty stupid. But... Oh yeah, it's totally stupid. <laughs> but I didn't want. I didn't want to let go. I didn't want to let go of the Jeep. Let it go. Anyways, so here I am, and I started getting a transmission leak on this son of a bitch, and and I'm here. I had a few days off uh, at the end of last week, and I was I was searching on like sites like Carvana. Carvana is a really cool concept. Where they just deliver a car to you. Um, Carbono. But the prices you pay for it, you know, it, it's it's not cheap. And then I, I found a few good deals at a local car dealership. And I was like, you know what, Amanda, I'll be right back. <laughs> that was on Sunday afternoon and um, around like, I don't know, noontime on Sunday. And uh, four hours later, I bought a car. I traded my Jeep in. They paid off my loan, which was great. Um I owed, I, they gave me they gave me like almost eleven grand for that Jeep, even though the transmission. But I didn't tell them the transmission was leaking, so maybe I should have said something. But I didn't. Um, so I got eleven grand for my Jeep, uh, which good. Paid, which paid off my loan, which is great. Um, and then I bought a uh, a Nissan Rogue. So that's the same thing as a Tesla. Nope, it's not a Tesla. Not a Tesla. But I I, I bought this car. I mean, it was de- definitely a desperation purchase. I needed to get a car. And I didn't want to quabble. I didn't want to deal with any of the bullshit. So I, I got them to talk it down in quite a bit and also got them to up my trade in value so I could pay off my loan. And my monthly car payment only went up about $45. So that's not bad. Yeah, I got a newer car. It's, um, it's a decent car. It's not a Jeep, it's not a Tesla, but I have a distinct feeling that it's going to be my car before I get a Tesla. We had a we had a Jeep. We came out here. We had it in San Diego. Came out here, and everyone kept saying, "Get a hundred thousand miles, you're gonna have to get a new transmission." Jeep's transmission dies at a hundred thousand miles. Hundred thousand miles. We get to a hundred thousand miles. I go, "Ha!" Ah. To a hundred thousand and one, and the transmission goes. <laughs> but we we were able to get like five or six thousand dollars trade in for the Jeep. I didn't tell yeah. them the transmission was bad, but yeah, I mean, that's right. That's where I got my my truck, and then Jay, of course. Got in an accident, destroyed it after I paid it off. I complete. I paid it off early. Paid it off. I said, "Got brand new tires on it." I go, "It's paid off, yes." And he got in some accident. He goes, oh, "My tires are bald, Dad. It's raining. Can I can I take your your truck to school?" I go, "Sure." Calls me up like ten minutes later. I got in an accident, and it wasn't his fault. But anyway, I didn't get exactly what I put into the truck. So I pants. love that truck. It's his pants' fault. Yeah, it probably was. His pants were down too low, and he went to go mm-hmm. couldn't hit the brakes, but. Got yeah, I, I got in the way. I, I, I just paid it off. It just paid it off. Because we, had, I got an accident with the suburb. We had a suburban, and we just paid it off. And they, they were going to. I said, "Whatever you, do, you can't total it." I just paid it off. I go, I won't get crap for it. Don't, don't total it. So they, they didn't. They fixed it. 
You, you making martinis up there, Matt? What are you doing? Uh, just pouring my beer. And, nice. Uh, I switched from any- caffeine to alcohol. Does anyone want to talk about Kobe Bryant for a second? Oh, fuck. Yeah. Hey, bring it down. Uh, holy shit, man. What a- so I found out about him when I was when I was I was buying the fucking car, right? Mm. And my buddy Jeff texts me, he's like, Kobe Bryant died. Like I was like, What? I'm like, I was and I was like, Oh, I but because fucking LeBron just beat his record. Like <laughs> was he being facetious? Right. And uh he's like, No, he goes, died isn't he's a no longer living person. And I was like, what are you talking about? And I, and I hit Google. I Google what's going on, and there's nothing. It was, it was like it was right when the news was breaking. It just happened, yeah. It just happened, and um, dude, that is just fucking terrible. Like, I mean, he, Kobe Bryant's not a perfect dude. Like, no. And you know, I'm not trying to, you know, I, I'm not trying to glorify the guy, but man, like he, the the good side that of of Kobe was was incredible, and that there was so much. Oh God, that's. <laughs> <laughs> oddly timed and weirdly inappropriate meme, but thanks. Matt. What's going on with this? What's going on with the producer today, man? He's all over the place. No, I, yeah. I was putting that in there because they played they played uh, a Grammy say, tribute. Yeah, so they oh. Grammy? yeah. Oh, okay. And I, right. and you were talking about your Jeep, and I and I was actually okay already all right. looking for it's so hard to say goodbye memes. Okay, so um, you can go on. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt your your tribute. No, sorry. There. It's all right. So it, it, it it's it's just it it's such a it's such a terrible situation. I mean, not just for Kobe, but for his there's wife. nine people and his wife, his kids. There's a, a Cape Cod baseball league coach and his wife were on the on that helicopter as well. A lot like, of families were wow, devastated. Man. Well, like, we just were we brutal. Were, Cindy and I were at Five Guys, and I I get a message on my a news thing on my phone. I go, I go, huh? She goes, what? I go, oh, Kobe Bryant just died in a car crash. And she goes, what did you just say? I go, wait, what did I just say? I go, she goes, you said Kobe Bryant died. I go, Kobe Bryant died? That can't be Kobe Bryant died. So I couldn't find the message. So I go right to Twitter and I go, holy shit, Kobe Bryant died in a helicopter crash. I was assume, assume it was his dad because, you know, I, I remember watching his dad played for the San Diego Clippers. And I was like going, <laughs> Kobe, I go, wow, Kobe Bryant died. And it's just, it's, he's one of those guys that every, you know, people, one of those people that everybody knows. And it was just, like I said, then, then they, it was being falsely reported that his all four of his kids were on the plane or the helicopter. I'm like going, and that was going on for about an hour. I'm like going, and then they were going back and forth. I go, can we just get the information right instead of being the first one to report it? I'm like going, was his wife on the helicopter? I go, what the fuck? I go, it, she's lost her, her husband and four kids. And, I mean, it was a bad situation as it was, but I, I just hate when the news media rushes to tell a sto- tell the story. Let the news happen. That's why it's called news. It's not called story. It's news. So anyway, I thought, you, the, uh, I, thought, all, I, thought, I thought the news media handled it ter- terrible. For for all the um for all the 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 Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not trying to share <laughs> for any all, good stuff. For, just... for, for for all the shit that uh, that the the police department was giving um, TMZ. TMZ probably had the best and most accurate coverage of the they, whole they, thing. They, they did, yeah. You know, um, oh man, it's 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 a heartbreaker. Yeah, I, I don't know if you guys watched the tribute last night when Shaq was was giving his little talk. I, I about saw it. it, yeah. Oh God, I've never felt bad for Shaq in my life until and they and, and they had night. issues when they played together. Oh yeah, oh yeah, but they were like brothers. I, yeah. I think he referred to him as his little brother, right? Yeah. Um, well, to but, Shaq, everybody's. Oh my brother. goodness Good. gracious! It was just terrible. Yeah, it was. A, it was. A, it was a sad. I mean, it was like you know, I'm not a Lakers fan, but obviously, you can respect his talent. Like I said, there's issues he had, and I don't want to get into that. But well, you know, I. Well, it's funny as my my thoughts when it happens, like damn, that sucks, you know. But I, I think you know, if I died right now, I'm like, I would be like, oh, well, at least I lived to an adulthood, you know. We, we, I, we'd have a verse. It, it, what was his best song? <laughs> <laughs> no, if, if you did, if you did die, which could could Matt take take pizza? Yeah, probably died right now. Probably. I, I think he already he's already t- made his decision, so he has to live with it. Um, can Can I just can I have our room and and Raleigh? Yeah. Can I have that? 
Yeah, yeah, the whole room. I, I already paid for it, so yeah. Oh, this so, is too soon. In full, Sorry. Yeah, but no, I just meant like, well, you know, at least Kobe lived, you know, like because it's like he's an adult, you know, he he died as an adult. But then, like when I heard, you know, what an hour later that his daughter was on board, that actually oh, hit me that's... harder. Yeah, than, than Kobe dying because I was like, damn, she was thirteen. You know, I was like, and that plus, just plus, that... It, plus they were they were tight. They, yeah. Was, it, it, that someone posted something on. Uh, I think it was Facebook or Twitter where they showed Kobe Bryant making a move, spinning around and yeah, taking yeah. a shot. His daughter had the same move. Exact. And I'm like, oh my God. I go, just the same. It's like, you know, she, she was so talented as, you know, as talented as he was. Boom, boom, boom. And the story where she was on, he was on Kimmel and he's like, and someone said to, with his daughter, oh, it's a shame you don't have a boy to uh, carry out your legacy. And she, and she goes, no, I got this covered. Yeah. <laughs> You know, so it's like that was the set, and you just feel for his wife. I mean, it's bad enough to lose your husband, but to lose a child. Yeah, also, yeah that's, I, that's yeah. Spe- I, speaking I, of Kimmel, um, did you see? Did you see Kimmel's show? Where he no. canceled his audience. Oh, so he did an entire show without a studio audience. Really, he, he did like a really, really touching monologue where he gave his tribute to Kobe, and man, it was. He was getting like choked up. I was getting choked up listening to him, like because he and Kobe Bryant had a really good relationship, and Kobe had been on that show I think like fifteen or sixteen times. So he did like a like a ten to fifteen minute like monologue talking about like you know his morning of Kobe and then in, in remembering him, and then they did a clip show of all the times that Kobe was on the Kimmel show. It was beautiful, man. Like if you if you, it's like a forty minute episode, you can you can watch it on you know online or whatever. But um, man, it, it was it was touching. It was it really was. And like it it just seems like you know of course aside from all the imperfect scenarios and all the 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 negative press that he's gotten for some of his actions, which I'm definitely not condoning nor nor defending or I don't think everything's or whatever. But like. Um, well, you can't defend it. So, so all all of the stories, all of the the of the positive stories that you hear right. about him, were incredible stories. Like just a, such like a a good ambassador to the sport and every in, in, in as a, as a person, right? Um, and Jimmy did a really really nice job with it. So if you have a, if you have forty minutes to watch it, I I would. It's good. Cindy was watching something before I came in here to record, and I go, "What are you watching?" She goes, "It's Kobe Bryant speaking fluent Italian." Well, yeah. Didn't she he grow up in Italy? I I I don't know. I think he might have. He because he was Cindy goes, "I'm Italian. I can't. I don't understand what he's saying." It was just I go, "Wow, it's, it was pretty. It was pretty incredible." I said, "What are you watching?" Because it was it, to me, it didn't make sense. Why are you watching something where you can't understand it? But yeah, Kobe lived in Bryant from from age six to thirteen, while his father Joe played for several teams in the hmm. Jelly Bean. That's his nickname was Jelly Bean Bryant. All right, you guys are just going to have to stop talking about Kobe Bryant here, or else I'm going to say some type some rude stuff in the chat. So. <laughs> I just keep finding like really inappropriate stuff, and you guys are like having all of these heartfelt things, and I'm like, well, if you want oh, something man. really, we're really sad. As a char- the the San Diego Clippers gave up a number one pick for Jelly Bean Bryant to the Philadelphia Sixers. That was pretty bad. What? That, you said you wanted no, something bad? No, no, nowhere compared to like that, you know that was a like waste of pick. Tragi- okay, I think yeah, we should try to be gentlemen and talk. There about, you go. Talk about that. All right, yeah, there, yeah. You, there you go. <laughs> Uh, so aspects so are up by the, 33, by the way, too. So Jack and I over the weekend both watched the movie The Gentleman, which is together. Guy, no, not together. No. Oh, I tried doing it apart, but it was too painful. But we both mm-hmm. watched it. It's a Guy Ritchie film, and I would say it's probably his third best film that he's done. Um, because you're never going to beat Lock, Stock, or Snatch, but it was a solid B, in my opinion. Uh, it's the only negative was like in the first few minutes, it's very dialogue heavy, and you're kind of like get on with it. But well, uh, Hugh, but Hugh Grant was excellent in it. Yeah, you. I mean, everyone was excellent in it. It's just you know, you, you, but it's it's a good it's a good one. Um, it's, it did it did take a while to set up. Yeah, and that's that's the thing is it, it, you have to get past the first fifteen to twenty minutes. You're kind of like, come on, get on with it. You know, it's because basically Matthew McConaughey is a pot. Uh, dealer or boss i would say more boss than a dealer because he he uh 
he basically Wait, Matthew applied. McConaughey is a dealer of pot. Like, how is this a stretch for him to play this? Exactly. Right? Well, he's he's the he basically is the dealer for all of the UK. And okay, That's he's trying to. It's fantastical. He's trying to retire and sell his business, and it all goes awry the way Guy Ritchie films does. And so it, the movie is trying to figure out where the dominoes fell. Like and. So it's it's a pretty. Good, I liked it after he gets going. You're like, okay, but it's. I mean, it's not as good as, as you know his, his first two films, but it's 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 a it's nice a, it, return to form for him. I would I would go B with it. That was it was it was good. It was it's like I said at the beginning of it. I could see my wife. I picked it. She's like she's looking at me like. Luckily, we were at Alamo Draft House and I had pizza and. Mm-hmm. and oh, wait, you, I had, had, you had pizza. Okay, I had a pizza, but it, it was pizza, and I had uh, you know some other stuff and some alcohol. So I was I was enjoying it. But like the first, it the Hugh Grant is excellent. He's he's amazing in it. I thought. Uh, yeah, his his accent is because it's he doesn't use his traditional English accent, which is. <laughs> uh, but I I don't know if anyone else knows that because you know he usually has a very London accent, and this one that is, was my impersonation of you, Jack. Oh yeah. right. Yeah. Uh, he uses like because to me he sounds like <laughs> Roger Waters in this one. Like he has a very more throaty. Um, North of London accent. I don't know. Not that I'm a great guy in uh, English accents, but it's definitely not his normal speaking voice. And there was some humor in it that that was not PC, but I I, I thought but it was very funny. I tend to like that kind of humor though because you know he does. He says some, some weird shit, but then they justify it in that very English way, you know. And it's yeah, like, yeah, what? I'm not being racist or bigoted. I'm saying two facts, and you're thinking they're bigoted. You know, and it's like, oh, okay, that makes sense. If, 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 if to be, I'm not picking on you, Nick. If it was a southern, oh yeah, a, a southerner saying those jokes, yeah, it, the movie would probably be banned. <laughs> yeah, but since it was a British guy saying it, <laughs> since it's a British guy saying it, it was okay. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. I thought it was good. It had some funny parts in it, um, some entertaining parts in it. Good movie, solid movie. Um, I get, I agree with Nick. The B works really. I was when I walk out, someone said, "This is the best movie I've seen in I don't know how long." No, like I wanted to say to the guy, "How many movies you been to?" It's like when I went to see Planet of the Apes with uh, it was me, Jane, and, and and Warm Taffy and a few other people. The one with uh, Mark Wahlberg way right. back when. Yeah. Someone goes, "I just couldn't enjoy the movie because it wasn't believable." <laughs> I, I I got really came to see. I I I, I think I might have said it out loud too. You came to see a movie with. Fucking ape speaking, and it wasn't believable. Yeah. Dumbass. <laughs> but uh, no, but I, I not the greatest movie I ever saw. Probably not the greatest movie I've seen in the last. I guess it was entertaining. It was fun, yeah. but not great. I saw. I ended up seeing 1917 last week. Oh, okay. um, I know I'm a little late to the game on that one. I know yeah. you got Nick here. I saw it and Jack. Well, at least you, at least you saw it because yeah. Matt hasn't. But you said, no. do tell. Yeah. Um, it was. Uh, it was good. It was good. It, yeah. it 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 was. I'm underwhelmed. I thought it was going to be more than it was, um, but great cinematography was amazing. Um, yeah. It was. It, it was interesting. Is that the entire movie takes place over what? Like I think a span of like maybe nine miles or something like that. Some I don't even know. Maybe maybe a little bit more than that. I'm not sure how far he had to go. Um. But it was just it was a very interesting, very contained, finite story, right? And it, the ending was was anticlimactic. Mm-hmm. I, I, I felt um, yeah. uh, character development in that movie was interesting, right? Because it it definitely took a turn which I didn't expect at the time of the movie when it, when it happened. I, I, um, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, and uh, it it was interesting. I mean, it was a good movie, and and I was. So a friend of mine was was posting everything on um, uh, something a review of it on uh, his his Facebook page, and one of his um, friends commented, you know, compare it to Dunkirk, yeah. and I was like, oh, you know, okay, uh, you know, when you compare it to Dunkirk, I thought Dunkirk was better. Yeah, um, nineteen seventeen. I, I thought nineteen seventeen was better than Dunkirk. Okay, I, mean, yeah, I, I, I love right right Dunkirk. Like it's, it's one of those that you can kind of debate the merits. Yeah, but. um, and and. and, and I was going to comment on it, and then he, the next friend friend of his, commented, "Dunkirk was a movie that I couldn't even bear to watch. It was so terrible." And I was like, "Oh God, I'm I'm not about oh. to get into this this conversation on this coward comment." <laughs> <laughs> I, 
not worth it. But um, yep. I, I, I enjoyed Dunkirk, I believe, more than I enjoyed uh, 1917. Well, the um, Dunkirk is multifaceted. Yeah. yeah. Well, like, and I yeah. haven't even seen 1917, but there's there's a multifaceted aspect to Dunkirk. And the, Dunkirk's an excellent and, movie. And and I, I love the, the tempo, the pacing, and the buildup, and that, that beat that just right. keeps, like, riding, yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I, I haven't seen cool. 1917, so I can't compare it to that, but personally... That's what I loved about that movie. Dunkirk. In that, I mean, I, I totally understand that someone's saying it's like Dunkirk because, like, to me, Dunkirk nor nineteen seventeen are movies. They're both experiences, and you know, because we're at Dunkirk, though, you're experiencing that moment through the eyes of multiple characters, you know, but in real time or trying to be in real time. Whereas in Dunkirk, you're experiencing one point of view throughout the entire film, and. And that's where it does kind of be anticlimactic. I mean, the first 30 minutes of that movie, you don't breathe in 1917 because, you know, they're, they're, they're crossing no man's land and so much is happening. Like I said, I, I jumped a few times. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but I, I, I don't, I don't think it's best picture worthy. I don't think it'll win best picture. I mean, it might just because people will vote for that kind of stuff. Um, but I, I, I think Parasite's a better film. Uh, but, Oh, Chris, what I, what I want to say about like, uh, because it's all one shot. 1917 is all one shot. So in like like what Matt, uh, Chris was saying, it's it's over the course of like nine miles. So if someone messed up, they started from beginning and did it again, like every time. And I heard that um, uh, Andrew Scott Cumberbatch, who's in the very end of the film, waited in that house for weeks every day, just sitting there waiting for the camera to finally show up to where he was. Because that's what they had to do, like because it's all one shot. No, nope. I guess I, I guess yeah. the guy that I guess the guy that screwed up was Andrew Scott. I, I think I get the name right. The guy that played uh, he's the uh, in uh, in the beginning where they're walking down. He's a lieutenant, or he kept screwing up his lines. They had to keep starting over. Mm. He kept screwing up the, the scene. Mm. <laughs> uh, I wanted to to mention. Um, <laughs> Something other than what I write in the chat, um, but uh, I found out recently. Uh, I just visited with my dad today, which I don't. I don't really get to see my dad that much, um, and uh, you know, so they're kind of few and far between. And uh, but I was stopping by, <clears throat> and uh, I found out that my uh, great uncle passed away recently. He was ninety-four years old. Oh, he served in World War II, and was at the Battle of the Bulge. Wow. He got the purple heart. You're just a kid. I was just like amazed. You didn't know that. You didn't know this. I didn't know this stuff. No, not about uh, not about my. Uh, it would have been my great uncle. So but it was my dad's uncle. So, but he's going to the funeral funeral this this weekend. So, um, but yeah, um, really surprising stuff. I mean, I knew. Uh, several of my family members uh, um, had served in World War II. Uh, My my other great uncle, Uncle Mike, uh, my grandfather's twin. So there was Mike and Ike. Um, So Mike, he was a prisoner of war in World War II. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. So um, so I I knew of some family history history related to World War II. My, My own grandfather on my mother's side served in World War II. He was a map maker, um, but was uh, in Africa. Mm-hmm. So and uh, so anyway, yeah, just uh, interesting. I mean, I was sad to hear that he passed away. Um, I mean, I'm not as close to him as, as what my dad was. Um, so he's he's obviously going to the funeral. And the funeral is kind of you know it's a it's a it's a bit of ways away, but um, just really kind of moved. I was like, wow, like he was at that you know point in his life you know where he was at the battle of the bulge so his his wife had died new year's eve no before new year's eve but then they had the funeral on new year's eve so oh just recently um, just recently and then he passed away like what less than a month later so could have been um, the fact was that a contributing factor just well definitely yeah and he was also put into assisted living and i just you know um sad to hear that because i you know my own grandfather uh i had taken care of at his house uh, up to the point where he passed away. But um, just, I don't know, you know, we were talking about world wars and uh, you know, just thinking about like how, how long ago that was, you know, and yet how still like 
some of us are still connected to that time period, you know, and I don't know. It's just, um, and Chris, you know, even though I don't see my dad and we don't always talk all the time, but I gave him a hug because that's what you do when you see your, your, you know, it's getting up there and, you know, you just, yeah. you take that extra step, you say, missed you dad. So, um, so I, I know you miss your dad, uh, Chris, and still kind of, it, it doesn't go away overnight. That's for sure. So I, I, no. my heart goes out to you. Been three years so, for me. Still. Still tender. Yeah. So anyway, not to bring it down, <laughs> you know, uh, you know, death, war, it's all pretty. What, was he, li- was he listed on, in, was he the last surviving? Cause I just read something about a guy that was in the battle of the bulge who hmm. passed away. I'm trying to remember how old the guy was. And I was uh, reading the story. I read it yesterday. I have to hmm. see if I can find it after we're done. It's on, I think on Yahoo. Huh. Reading something about it. Cause I've started to think I go, I go, cause there can't be a lot of guys left. Right. No. That fought in world war. Well, two. I was, I was surprised when my dad had mentioned it to me. I was like, Oh wow. Well, that makes sense. You know, he's 94 years old. He, was, he lived a long life. So, um, probably one of the uh, might have Pearl, that, that gen- might have been Pearl Harbor generation. Yeah, Pearl oh, Harbor. My yeah. my family so. might have been Pearl Harbor, the last remaining person from the Arizona. I can't I can't remember. Yeah, well, at least in my family, like I said, is kind of the last of that generation of of men, really. So because you know, uh, both my my grandfathers had died already. So, but. Uh, Anyway, cheery stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, speaking of cheery stuff, I finished season two of Good Girls. Oh yeah, that's Did a it's know? a it's a really good show. It's breaking yeah. bad. It's Breaking Bad light. I mean, I hate to compare it to Breaking Bad because I I don't want to diminish um, what's happening. I can see where you'd say that. And I could see where NBC execs would even have that discussion in a board meeting. Um, I love it's, it's, all... it's what I can, it's what I compare it to. No, no, I, I totally get that. Especially from, um, the main character. Um, and I'm, I'm blanking on, uh, her name, which was in. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. So, but I, I love all three of those actresses too. Yeah. They're, like, they're great. The whole um, cast, the whole cast is good. Yeah. Yeah, even yeah, no, you're right. So, I have not jumped into season three yet. Um, I have not either. I just yeah. So that's kind of my on my to watch well, list because I finished the last episode on on Netflix. I told my I go you you probably like this show. I don't you know I've been thinking about it because she's been doing another Grey's Anatomy rewatch. I go how can you keep watching this crap? <laughs> and so she she started watching it like two days ago. She's already on. She's at like four more episodes to go. She's only been watching for like two days. She goes, it's not great. I go, well, it's good enough for you to go through uh, <laughs> this 13 episodes a season. So she's got been through like 20 episodes. And I go, oh, you're almost to the part where it really gets good. Because something happens where you get kind of a flashback. And I go, it really, there's a twist and turn. I don't spoil anyone, but it really gets good there. If you know what I'm talking about, Matt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but if you haven't seen it, it's on Netflix, watch it. You won't be disappointed. It's got some comedy. Oh yeah, no, totally. Um, just like Breaking Bad did. I mean, like, yeah, it's it did. Yeah. show it was. I mean, it, it had some really humorous moments. So, but also some really gritty moments. And uh, they, I think, they do a good job of of still having this like threat looming on that show of Good Girls. You know, it's like you kind of get that feeling of like there's always something more happening, you know, right. Like there's always the, you know, and, and I think that's where it definitely has that breaking bad feel. So, um, yeah, but but like I, show, I enjoy it. It's right. good. It's yeah. a really good show. Um, yeah, I, I got, I got nothing else. <laughs> I got nothing else. Um, what, uh, what, what say you guys uh, as far as uh, any any other conversation you want to have? Um, I had a serious one, but I'm not going to bring it up. Um, well, uh, I, uh, I don't know if we have enough time for a bonus I tonight. Decided, my Siri keeps yeah. popping up. I decided not to. I decided not to bring it up. I didn't want to do it. 
Okay. What? All right. Fair enough. So, um, well, real quick, Chris, where are you at on your Clone Wars rewatch? I'm just kind of curious. Let's see. Uh, or I not rewatch. Me... You're 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 watching it. I'm rewatching it. So. Let me see. Uh, I can tell you in a second here. I'm, going to I'm kind of halfway through with my kids. I don't. I don't think they're going to make it in time. But uh, I'm I'm definitely not going to. Um, uh, hang on. Disney Plus. Watch list. I know you were. You recently watched the Zero the Hut. <laughs> episode yeah right? Dude, this, disney plus needs a, needs a facelift on their interface on their on their user interface i'm not a huge they, fan of how it's laid they, out they definitely could use a use a facelift on it i so. am on season three episode 15 sorry guys why uh, some i don't know something happened to jack the basketball game came on. Sorry, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, hit, I hit this. I hit the sound by accident. The timing was just impeccable. We started talking I, I know, about you're Clone frozen, Wars. Your frozen face. I was like, there, shit, the Jack die again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm on season uh, three, episode fifteen. So I'm almost wrapped up with season three. I'll be jumping on season four um, probably by the weekend. Oh. Okay. okay, I'm. I'm pretty sure I know kind of right around where you're at. You haven't gotten to the Mortis story yet, though. Mortis. Have you? Who's Mortis? Mortis. So you'll know when you get to Mortis, but I think that's that's Ghosts of Mortis. Mortis, what's up? Oh, oh, so you're talking about um the Night Sisters? No. I, I, I did I did watch I did watch the Savage Opress episode. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so I'm I'm at uh, season three, episode fifteen, Overlords, Anakin learns of his destiny from a Ooh. family of force wielders. That's the episode. Yes. Of that, oh, that's are, just about to start. That is the it's where, it's where he says you are my density. You are my density. <laughs> There is three three stories right in a row which are really cool. The uh, Overlords, Altar of Mortis, and Ghosts of Mortis. Mm-hmm. And if you can, I would just watch them all at once together. Yeah, that, though, those are my next three I have to watch, actually. I'm yeah. Yeah. Those, yeah. Those, that's you'll, a cool story. Yeah, you'll like those. Cool. Yeah. And really connects to some stuff that happens in the future, too. So, Great. Like... And, 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 and rebels and yeah, and, uh, yeah. Kind of thing. and, and just not, in general like it's 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 a fun fun story we're not gonna give matt a shout out for his dunker methlin <laughs> <laughs> i don't think it needs a mention <laughs> i i thought it was funny i meant oh, to say okay. it at the time but i just i just saw it <laughs> uh i've been thinking a lot about dunder mifflin and uh the the logo and uh i i actually run a paper store um paper company if you will so get those hair plugs, like, but you're also an artist, so you shouldn't copy other people. Yeah, <laughs> <That's> true. <laughs> so you're Pam of the story. Because Pam was an artist. I'm not Pam. No, Pam's an <laughs> artist. Is, that is true. That is true. Um, you, know who, no, you, know, just, uh, you know who else got hair plugs and was more, more likable was uh, Matthew McConaughey. Mm-hmm. If you're trying to freak me out about me going bald, it's working. So thanks. I'm just, I'm just saying, Matthew McConaughey, it, he had uh-huh. he definitely had hair plugs because the dude was going bald. The only one of us that's yeah. not going bald is Chris, and that's because he uses a special product. I, I, I haven't used it in over a month, actually. Oh, really? Oh, your, yeah. hair looks, your hair looks thicker. It Does looks it? fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Matt wants so you're, to not, you're, you're not using that, that dyeing soap that Matt's using? No. What? So he, he, I'm not here, dying my here, hair. Here's something I, I've I've done recently that I haven't done in a long time. And I bought a fucking comb. I haven't used a comb in years. Uh, neither have I. Nope. Yeah, but I've I've always just done whatever with my hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was perfect. <laughs> What Matt posted in my she, hand. She didn't, she didn't have said that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I should have just said that. So, have sex? Is that is that what you were? And about? as you said, you typed in "have sex." Chris said, "With my hand." With my hand. <laughs> um, so I, I've always, I've always like you know applied whatever product to to the hair with just you know like you know with my hands. So but now I, I, I got a, I got a comb, and I'm actually it actually looks presentable. When I, when I do it now, so that's my new thing. I bought a comb. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's good to get, keep that uh, that bush trimmed. When, yeah, I, when, I was in, when I was in high school, I used to have a yellow comb that I always had in my back pocket, and because I didn't like my hair out of place, 
So I constantly was combing my hair. Did you also have a, a pack of Marlboros rolled up the sleeve of your white I, t-shirt? I, I did not. This I did, wasn't in the 50s. I, I didn't <laughs> smoke because my mom said she'd kick my ass if I would smoke, and she said that with a cigarette in her hand. But no, I did not smoke. But no, I did have a, a yellow comb would be in my back pocket. I think I still have that comb. I saved it. Oh, man, just That's like, weird. Like the 50s, man. You're straight out of West Side Story or something. You know, like, uh, I know just going back to like World War II and uh, – and combs like uh, my grandfather, my dad's father passed away. My dad asked me if there was anything I wanted of my grandfather's. And I said, yeah, I want his comb. And he kind of went, is that what, what he charged? No- he charged Normandy with the comb. No, it's because like he, <laughs> when he was, you, in, German! when he was in the Navy, he was issued a metal comb. It's like a solid metal comb, yeah. that had, you know, us Navy written on it. And he used it all through his life. Oh. And I remember as a kid, because, you know, when you're a kid, anything military is cool, you know. Mm-hmm. And I always remember it sitting there on his, by his sink, you know, and it just, you know, that's metal comb said U.S. Navy on it. And and my dad, you know, had no clue about it, but I had remembered it every, because every time I would go to his house, I'd see it. And I'd be like, yeah, I want his comb. And my dad yeah. was like, that's really cool. I never noticed that. I was like, yeah, he always mm-hmm. used the same comb his entire life. And so that's mm-hmm. the one thing I chose to to keep of his. Sure, I, I have a yellow comb. I'm accused of having marbles tucked in my T-shirt, but that's okay. I have a cool metal comb. <laughs> <laughs> I I had a my my grandfather when he passed away. I um he had a lot of uh, different clothes, but he had this belt that was his belt from World War Two, and that was one of the things that I I was like, all right, and I wore it for a really long time until the, that belt the the leather actually broke through, so I took the buckle. And just attached it to another belt, so I still, you know, mm-hmm. buckle's still good. So you know, it's, it's kind of a, a little, little piece of him that stays with me. It's it's funny how we had a little because my dad had a his his he grew up in East Berlin, Pennsylvania, a small town, and they went to they their their basketball team went to the state championships, almost won. Were they called the Reds? They were not. <laughs> they were not called the Reds. Okay, East Berlin. Uh, I yeah, I don't know what the name of the team was. I think they had like seven guys. It was like it was the Hoosiers. It was a Hoosier story. But, uh, <laughs> Shit, don't put that on the Hoosiers. He, he had a little basketball that had, you know said how they want, and I said that's all I want. I want that little basketball. Huh. So I put it in a little plastic case, and it's sitting in my uh, studio. Hmm. I, I I said that's the one because I always wanted it when I was a kid. Almost like you know. Nick in the comb. I said, I always liked it. It's like a little charm type thing. That's like mm-hmm. a little chink thing. I said, that's what I want. Have you ever seen Pulp Fiction? I have. <laughs> Good God, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, Seems like anyways. a racist Mickey Mooney. Rick Mickey Rooney. What? No, it's just like of all of all the of all the family heirlooms to think of. That's the one you think of, Matt. <laughs> yeah, my dad didn't have that, so I, okay. I had to go for the second choice was the little basketball. Fair enough. I just was yeah. wondering where it might have not the gag, but it's just a little, it's a tiny basketball. Uh, it's a tiny. Right. It's a tiny watch. Too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so for those of you that are unfamiliar with Pulp Fiction, uh, look it up. Christopher Walken. Uh, <laughs> great scene there. All right. <clears throat> anyway, on that note, you can get all your belt buckles, basketballs. <laughs> what? What are you going to say, Chris? Nothing. <laughs> Matt killed the radio show. Hey, all of your metal combs, all of your pizzas, all your chicken wings. What's that? Buffalo. What? No, you're not going to say. Stop nope. Fucking- Man, <laughs> <laughs> he keeps giving me this face like, oh, uh, it's like a. Are you gonna sneeze or have an orgasm? I don't know. So, but I hope. Well, he is using his hand. I hope, either way, I hope you're <laughs> nice. You're relieved. Um. Anyway, on that note, I think we should relieve our listeners from our uh, joyous uh, banter. So it's been it's been fun. It's been real. Really, really missed you guys. It seemed like a longer week. I know. It had, I don't know we why. recorded on Monday. On Monday last week, yeah. Yeah, a lot of shit's gone down since then. So anyway. Real quick, poll from you guys. Yeah. Should I bring back the beard? What is winter? What? I'm at I'm at that point right now where okay. this is typically for the last year or so, 
too long for me. Mm. But I think I might grow it. You look good either way. Thanks all. You do. Thanks, you really do. Appreciate that. It's really what do you nice. want, Nick? <clears throat> what? What do you want from Chris? Nothing. I can't. Let's be roommate at Raleigh. I'm beard, I'm beard envy. <laughs> Like I, 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 I'm thinking about going back to the old school here. Let me see if I can find. Uh, I don't know. I I don't know how to use Facebook, but <laughs> I I posted something to my story by accident the other day. I, I don't even I know saw, how to I use saw, that. I, shit. I saw that because I was uh, going. Oh, Chris put a story up. I go. I don't even know how to use that. I, I think I, I selected I, I just, my story. Can I, by can, I, can I say this, Chris? Is like the worst story thing I ever. It was just nothing. Thanks. <laughs> But it, it was. It's, it's supposed to have. It's supposed to have. It's supposed to be a story. Something like you. Well, it was. It was a picture of my wife and I uh, two yeah, years just... ago, and it was. Um, it was. It was a picture of us when I when I had a beard, and I was looking at that. And I was and I was gonna I'd do what I just did and actually just post it. Like, should I bring this back? And then I realized I posted to posted it to my story, and I, I don't even know how stories work. I mean, they they just been. Hovering above my news feed, I don't even know what the hell they are. Uh, what's the difference between your story and like your your actual feed? The story goes it it it's a, it goes to you can dictate who <laughs> <laughs> you can you can dictate who you want to you can go to just people you follow. It can be to the whole internet. It can be the, oh, all right. Well, I I need to give up social media. I think it's getting too fucking stupid for me. I don't even think Nick has recognized that Lincoln is on the screen right now. So. Oh, I saw it. <laughs> okay. Train it our country. Train up. So yeah, I, I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I might I might bring it bring it back. A little itchy right now though. A little bit. But Nick, I got Nick's vote of confidence. I'll take I'll take that. Yeah. I vote for no confidence in Chancellor Lonham. <laughs> Sorry, episode Minister one. Minister Falls. <laughs> Can it give emergency powers? <laughs> okay, that's Revenge of the Sith. I'm I'm, I'm going uh, Padme here. I know. Um, it's all not, not often that I imitate Padme Amidala, but anyway, on that note, for all your. Jack's just shaking his head like I have no I have fucking idea what these Star Wars geeks. What's are this talking nerd about shit they're talking about? <laughs> No, it scares me because I do know some of it. So it's like, oh my god! <laughs> that, what's what happened? You lose all your hair. You, you, your choices <laughs> of friends are limited. Like, you guys are really like busting the chops with all this psychology stuff. Like, I'm I'm 47. I'm bald. I hope that everybody that I see in Raleigh, this you know, can like actually like just be like, it's okay, Matt. Jack's well, just an asshole. Well, now that they know you're 47, they're like, Matt. Matt, how's it going? Because you're thinking you're older, you're losing your hearing. So, oh. so Matt, did, did you just did you just request the 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 affirmation from those going to Raleigh in that last statement? Yeah, I did. Uh, just okay. you know, yep, I am. I'm, if you're I'm, listening to this, don't give in. Don't let Matt get <laughs> off like that. I'm not getting off. Uh, clearly. <laughs> That's why you're so On that out. note, That's if why you're, you're like so angry. Off, <laughs> please, please do so by going to. You're an uh, angry Amazon. <laughs> yeah, I used that today. <laughs> Call me off one more that. time. Yeah. I use that. Uh, anyway, um, go to Amazon.com slash J and Jack. Uh, buy all your Amazon needs, like uh, the DVD combs. for Elf. Um, so you know, metal combs. Um, I got buckles. I got a comb the other day for four dollars. Four dollars. I felt for real guilty because they, they brought it to my house the next day. What is the carbon footprint on that? Yeah. How, much, how many was a box like this big? No, more, than four, nah. more than four dollars. It, it was really small. Oh, it, it, it was, was actually it was a it, it was an envelope. No, one of those white envelopes, the padded ones. Because that's my biggest complaint with Amazon is sometimes you'll get something. I go, yeah. I go to my wife. I go, what the fuck did you order? And you pick it up. It's, it weighs nothing. And it's got like big box, and they got all that plastic. It must be from Indiana. All that plastic <laughs> bubbles in there. Put for a little tiny thing of lipstick in the corner. I go. Why is this box a uh, twenty-four by twenty-four by twelve box? All the padding for a little thing of lipstick. What the hell are we doing, Amazon? Tearing the Amazon just to pay for our shipping here. Ooh, good. Anyway, one. but if you like amp shopping on Amazon, it's it's probably the way to go. <laughs> but why 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 you're contemplating the end of the world? <laughs> Buy your shit from Amazon. 
through you, our you, link. You might as well. Everyone else is doing it. You know their employees are banned from talking about global warming or climate change. So you know, you know what? Buy your buy if you're going to buy at Amazon though. Help out these these guys because yeah. we are doing what we can. And uh, like again, I said Amazon.com/slash/Janjack. There's other things that you can do. You know, become a patron, give us a rate or review us. You can email us at RCAD uh, cast. When was the last time we got a review? Gmail.com. Been a while. I'd say I, don't know, I don't know. I mean, we're, I we're, here every, reviews, we're here every week, and we do a long show, and then we do the extra show, and then you do. I don't know. And then nobody, nobody. Well, if you're not a if you're not a Russian robot, um, and I, I'm pretty sure you're not, you can rate a what? What is the face, Chris? <laughs> I, that was a yawn. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Oh, okay. I, I thought you were like. It, 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 it tends to happen when Matt's speaking. <laughs> Our last okay, Jack. Our last review. <laughs> Go ahead. You you finish finish out the show here. What what do we say next? We got tacked from Paris. Oh, right. we like to thank all our patrons. Oh yeah, good. All yeah, our patrons are fabulous. We love each and every one of you. I like to thank you all of you. Thank you, 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 thank you. We'll see Martin there. So, but we're gonna thank six patrons right now. Tack from Paris, Eckhart Rickner Glaffelder, Maggie the Magnificent. Joanne, who was in San Antonio with the plan. I was there a few years ago and recognized everywhere she was going. I hope she didn't go to the Alamo because she'd been extremely disappointed. The Alamo sucks. Um, if you're from San Antonio and you're going to defend it, sorry. No, it, it's the biggest disappointment in the world. Uh, Drake the Destroyer and Ed, the creepy letter carrier, thanks for delivering everything you do. And that's all we got. This Bud's for you. That was a great show, kids. It was one in a fucking million. It was all right. Kiss his ass. Kiss his ass. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> no, no. You got to remember the Chevy Chase. Kiss his ass. Kiss your ass. Go fuck yourself. Isn't that what he says? He says. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Yeah. Kiss my ass. Like kiss your ass. Kiss his ass. Go fuck yourself. Happy Hanukkah. Okay. Well, he, no, he says Francisco Franco is still alive. Francisco, I like the sound of that. Remember, the leader of us uh, was it Spain, who they kept reporting was dead. So Chevy right. Chase on the weekend update would say Francisco Franco. Is it Francisco Franco? Yeah, uh-huh. he's still alive, and then he died. He was still dead. And he, he, it, it was a long. It was a running joke all that season because he was only on one season. Chevy Chase, well, uh, who replaced him quick? Bill Murray. There you go. Star Wars, nothing better than Star Wars. Star Wars, better than Car Wars. Da-da-da. I'm ending this right now. Matt's Bye. ending it now. Bye. Stage your hour. <laughs> and if there were to.